to kill me when you had the chance, asshole. First I kill you, then I kill you. <laughs> Fuck you. Who won? Fuck you. You made a big mistake going after the hollow. Come on. 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 Come the man you're talking about took me in when I had nowhere else to go. You are no better than him. You can't take a show. You fucking pig. Damn you to earth. Take it easy. Take it easy! Take it easy! He kept me in there, locked in there, day and night. Beat me, used me. I killed you, motherfucker! You and your entire goddamn family! He's dead! He's dead! Fucking Haitian. Behind me! Excuses! Tear this place up! No! to get you out of trouble, don't I? You old? I am. How'd it go with Baca? Well, we came to an understanding. He stayed dead, and I let him. Let's get back to Sammy's. The thing Lincoln didn't understand, or maybe want to understand, is that for a man like Sammy, there's always gonna be more Haitians. Now, if there wasn't someone going after Sammy, then there was someone else forcing him into a bad situation. It was never going to end. It won't be bothering us again. It was a mistake sending you down there. I should handle my own business. This isn't any different than what I was doing before I left. You probably don't know this. But every night on the TV, right after the news, they show the names of all the boys killed over there in Vietnam. I'd be sitting in the kitchen eating my supper, watching that list scroll by, wondering if today is the day I finally see your name. 
But you never did. Nothing happened to me. There's only so much luck down the way. Sooner or later, I pull up that bucket, there's nothing in it. You need to do whatever Sal asks, yeah? For all our sakes. Yes, sir. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> Lincoln Clay! Christ, man, get a look at you! I bet those fucking gooks shit themselves when they saw you coming. Been a long time, Georgie. Oh, no shit has been a long time. I think the last time I saw you was that night over in the French Ward, right before you shipped out. <laughs> Damn if that wasn't a gas. Oh, I seem to remember me and Ellis running from the cops, uh, and Danny ending up in the drunk tank. Hell, man, I bailed him out. Besides, just worth it to knock the hell out of them cracker assholes. <laughs> Smoke? Sure. <laughs> oh, man. Sammy said Mr. Marcano wanted to see me. Mr. Marcano? Shit. Make him sound like a goddamn lawyer. You just call him Sal. Come on, he's in the back. <laughs> well, I guess you're wondering what this is all about. Yeah, Sammy didn't tell me too much. Twice a year, the feds take old money out of circulation and destroy it. Over the course of the next few days, that money's gonna be delivered here to the reserve in town. And you're gonna hit one of those shipments? <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. We are gonna use that occasion to gain access to their vault. And then steal everything that ain't nailed down. <laughs> Should be six, seven million in there? Easy. That's, that's pretty fucking ballsy. <laughs> it's a chance of a goddamn lifetime is what it is. Now, Vito's fronting a lot of the money for the job, and he got us the combination to the vault. Hey, you had a chance to see Danny? No, not yet. Oh, well, you will. We brought him and his old man in on this. And they're gonna need your help, so go see them. They ain't still in that same place. There's something else we gotta talk about. Now, it's safe to assume you know about the problem Sammy's been having. I took care of the Haitians. Once things settle down, money will start coming in again. You see that right there? That's what I'm talking about. You didn't sit around with your thumb jammed in your ass. You saw a problem, you went out and took care of it. God damn, I take that over money any day of the week. We pay our own way, debts and all. Always have. Oh, hell, son, I know that. I wouldn't expect otherwise. But you know, even after we all evened up, you're still gonna be slopping around in the ass end of this city. Not much of a future in that. But maybe there's a different way forward, you understand? For all of us. What'd you have in mind? I want you to know I mean no disrespect when I say this. Sammy's a hell of a man, but he's not getting any younger. And I'm thinking it's time to make a change. Well, I don't think that Ellis is ready for that kind I'm not talking about Ellis. I'm talking about you. I want you to run the holler. <laughs> I can't do that. Well, look here. If you're worried about Sammy, don't you understand? Now, he's always been on the level with me. And this job we're talking about, there's more than enough for him to retire on. He took me in when I had nowhere else to go. Treated me like a son. I'm sorry, Mr. Marcano. I, I can't do that to him. Well, shit, son. I'd be lying if I didn't say I wasn't just a little disappointed. But I get it. You're loyal. Which is something that is scarce these days. Do you still want me to help with this thing we've been talking about? <laughs> you goddamn right I do! <laughs> and when it's all done, you all be more than square with me. You have my word. <laughs> what? <coughs> Motherfuckers! Drill's through. He's pushing everything off the side so that we have room to catch the money. All right, well, once you swear the way up here, we start driving it down. We'll make it quick. Motherfuckers killed the lights. Just worry about the money. I'll deal with this. Let's just keep looking. Ah, 
Kaizi ain't here. Let's try to. Gotta be somewhere. Let's just keep looking. Gotta be here somewhere. I gotta just keep looking. The suspect. Cover. Damn it, those guards will cut us down the second we make a break for it. Tell Danny he needs to get us out of here. Hey, these bastards got us pinned down. Y'all need to figure something out. I got some TNT. I'll put on our side of the hole and detonate it. What the fuck is that gonna accomplish? With any luck, it'll blow a hole big enough for y'all to drop down. With any luck, Danny, do you even know what the fuck you're doing? Come on, it's dynamite. How complicated could it be? It's lit. Get the fuck away from the hole. No one really knows why Sal Marcano turned on Thomas Burke, uh, but he took Point Verdun from him and gave it to an enforcer named Roman the Butcher Barbieri, who promptly busted up one of Burke's legs. Now, Danny Burke was part of the heist crew. I mean, he was a gearhead, had never done anything like this before, but Thomas Burke insisted. He figured if the heist was a success, Sal would forgive him and return Point Verdun. Trainer, all right. <laughs> hey, no, I heard there ain't nothing sweeter than Vietnamese pussy. You tell me it's true. <laughs> Casanova Clay, shit, man, it's so fucking good to see you. You too, Danny. That's Nikki. God, she wanted to be here, but I ain't remember how old. Goddamn, you piece of shit. Yeah, unfortunately. Come on, let's grab a beer. Wait for the old man to chill out, and then we can get down to it. Yeah. So bad. You already got it all set up and organized. All the girls gonna be there and everything, except we just gotta go in my cars, because we can't roll up in that beat-up piece of shit outside. <laughs> well, you didn't just call my all-American machine a beat -up. I'm just saying, there are better rides out there. Hey, bullshit there are. This car's a beast. I dropped a custom 358 in before we shipped out. That ain't the only thing you dropped in there. Maybe you should tell them about how you'd borrow it from Ellis and take the ladies <laughs> for a ride. Hell, man, leave me out of this. Wait, you fucking my car? Mm -hmm. nah, it ain't no big deal. I was always wrapped up tight. <laughs> Besides, I already got one fucking bass in my life. I don't need another one. All right, you know what? You're going to clean it. Not just the back oh. seat. Every square inch. <laughs> I don't need to be riding around sitting in your shit. Hey, and you, funny man, you going to fucking help. Like the hell I am? Shit, I didn't get any. Yeah, well, it's just new. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, you fucking jokers got about as much chance of pulling this off as I do at winning a goddamn decathlon. Oh, all right, Dad, we hear you. 
Donnie and Ellis. You're gonna use the drills to cut a hole up through the bottom of the vault. You and Georgie, you'll be inside. You're to drop the money down, then get the hell out of there. That goddamn drill ain't easy to move, though. So we need a boat to get it through the canals and into position. Well, Ellis and I worry about the boat. See, Georgie's old man flipped the guard at the reserve, giving you his truck. <laughs> Between that and the uniforms, and no one gonna give us a second look. <laughs> Come on, let's get moving. Still gotta swing by Skeletta to finish up some prep work. Hey, and you two assholes, don't think this gets you off the hook when it comes to my car. Y'all best get ready to clean it. I ain't cleaning shit. Hey, you cleaning it. 